Welcome back, cricket fans. Scoves, thanks for joining me. Mate, pleasure. Thank you. It's been, it feels like it's been too long. It has. It's been too long. It's great to have you here. I spoke to you before and I'm on this kind of journey of trying to score 100. Um, and a lot of people have kind of gone to me, don't focus on scoring the 100. And I'm like, well, I'm not, but it's just quite a nice kind of thing to package it all under. But a lot of people speak really highly of you. Gareth at Can You Cricket, Jackson, the Cricket Kids, so many people. I mean, every time you look on your social medias, you get like DMs through from people and it's like, this is how good this bloke is. So can you help me? I'm going to do my best. I'm going to do my best as long as you're, yeah, you, you can listen and process. Like, I, yeah, we get a lot of positive feedback, which is great. I think what I try and do is simplify things as much as possible. So it's whether it's a 10 year old or a, a pro, um, but at the end of the day, it's the athlete that has to then implement it. So I can take some credit. Um, I get some lovely messages and we, we sort of self promote a bit to sort of keep our brand growing. But end of the day, it's all down to the athlete. So it's in your hands. Athlete might be a stretch. <laughs> Club cricketer, we'll go for that instead. Hello, cricket fans. Really quick announcement before we get back into the video to celebrate all the content being in one place now on YouTube and the launch of the new website, the memberships, the hats and t-shirts and things like that. I'm giving away five of these. If people sign up for the memberships before the end of August, you get yourself a chance to win one of five hats. It costs as little as about £2.50 a month and you can get access to the content 24 hours early. You can get exclusive content as well. You get discount codes off other things, bat stickers, giveaways, various other bits and bobs. And if you wanna be an absolute legend and support the content, which makes a huge difference in being able to continue to make this stuff, there's a link in the description of the video. It would be great to see you over there. Yeah, I'm just gonna put myself in your, your capable hands. Yeah, um, cool. Completely hand over to you. Yep. Um, very open-minded as to whatever this might look like. Yep. Um, and yeah, hopefully can kind of come away with some, some good stuff. And yeah. for what, what, I don't even know, is it August now? Yep. It is basically. Well, 30th of July today. Yeah, so well, I'll have like maybe six weeks of cricket left. Yeah. So still a chance. Yeah, absolutely, still a chance. And, and for me, I always start with the, um, your technique. I think yep. the technique is the foundation of your game. So have a look at what you're doing, um, with just, just watch your bat for a bit. Then we can break down a few technical components of your game. Um, and then we start to unpack as we go a little bit about your mindset as well. Because okay. so much of performance in the middle is about how do I use what I've got? How do I use my skill set, my technique? Yeah. And actually then bring it to the moments um, that matter in the game. Because so many people are great in the nets, but when the moments that matter out in the middle they're unable to get their mind and their emotion in the right place. Yeah. And if you've got a great technique, it doesn't matter if you can't get your mind and emotion um, in the right place. So that's really, really important as well. Okay, sounds right. Let's do it. Let's have a go. So what's the format of your cricket? Uh, so our league is 40 overs a side, yep. uh, win or lose, and then have a T20 competition uh, through the summer as well, which we've just got through to the last 16 of. What sort of role do you want to play? Do you, like, you come in with the last 10 overs and you want to hit sixes? Yeah. What, like, what, how do you want to be as a batter? How are you going to get to scoring 100, do you think? Uh, I think if I'm walking out at five, I think that the problem, not the problem, but the great part with that is, I think that role is so flexible. Yeah, it's flexible, it's it's you've got to be adaptable, yeah. exactly. But I think you want to try and be as consistent as possible in your approach. Yeah, okay. Pros these days are going, I'm going to play my way regardless of the score. But yes, I'm going to adapt to the conditions and the bowler yeah. because I don't want to be playing silly shots. But I know this is going to give me the best chance of bringing my best into this moment yeah. as opposed to, oh, I have to be, I have to be sensible. Well, say that to Travis Head or Harry Brook or Mitch Marsh. That goes against their instinct and then they start yeah. second guessing themselves yeah. and then they make more mistakes. So it's, 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 um, it's trying to be smart still, like if the wicket's seeming a lot, you're probably not driving on the up. You've yeah. got to then think about how you handle different balls in different conditions. But those guys, Adam Gilchrist was one of the first to do it really. It was like, no, whether it was five for 50 or five for 250, he would walk out and if he got a ball in his zone, he would play, he would go for it. Yeah. Um, so that's what I'd say as okay. a starting point. I like it. Cool. Cool. Thanks, mate. While we're on the sidearm, just get in the contest. Okay. Right, these first, 12 to 15 balls, I'm not gonna say much. I just wanna watch your bat, and then we can start looking. I've the, got the camera on here, we can start looking at how you're moving and break things down a bit. Okay, perfect. Oi. Played a bit of bounce. There's a bit of a... Um... Bit of tennis ball bounce, isn't it? Bit, isn't there? Yeah. 
That's very tennis bully. So that's what I was saying. The good players then would like think, okay, driving's tough unless it's really under my eyes. Yeah. So they're they're adapting their game because they don't want to be get caught at cover, but they're still got that positive mindset if that's how they are. Shot. Okay, come down here. I'll, I'll bring this up up there. So you, first thing I've sort of seen is you, you, you've got you're getting into pretty good positions. Like you're um yeah, you're moving quite well, especially considering. Okay, so what stumps that? Uh, that's uh, fourth, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, probably maybe even four and a half. Yeah. Okay. Now watch your front foot. What happens? Watch what your front foot does. So you trigger. Okay, where's your front foot there? Uh, pointing towards cover. Okay, but what line's it on? Well. What, that's okay, no, uh, I think that... Oh, what line? Yeah. Uh, mid, on, off, middle and off. Middle and off, yeah. okay. Where does it end up there? Uh, middle and leg. Yeah, probably even leg, I'd say. Yeah. Like, so the biggest thing I've seen so far is that you, you sort of, yeah, your pattern of your foot is going that way. Yeah, okay. So that means it's anything wide, you're not getting any weight going there, Yeah. right? I, I love to show examples of the best players and work backwards from there and say, this is what's happening at the top, sure. the top of the game. Yep. Manus hits that off stump through mid wicket. Yeah, okay. And what are his feet doing? His front foot's landing on, on or around off yeah, stump. Yeah. What they're trying to do in test cricket when the ball's moving is they're trying to hit the ball through the leg side as often as possible because there's more gaps. Sure, yeah. And they're also less likely to nick off if they're able to get sort of on the outside of the ball yeah, and sense. hit that way. So. I think that when you're stepping outside leg, it's limiting because A, you're not going to get weight going sort of through there, and B, all of a sudden a ball on middle stump, you can only probably hit straight, you can't yeah. hit this way. Yeah. So the best play is if you're able to get that front foot more around off stump, just as a default, yeah, okay. then your weight's going sort of into that ball there, but also a straight ball, you're able to start sort of... Yeah. Clipping through there. Okay, yeah. Where do you score? Where do you like to score? Where's your strength? Uh, offside is hard, okay. but I think that probably resonates with what you just said. Yeah. And I get almost quite, I've been described as handsy with it. Yeah. Like, so Because you probably feed her over here and then you Yeah, exactly. Yep. Um, and then it is kind of through that leg side, that leg side area. Okay. Um, not a great deal goes through square, if that makes sense. It's probably from like kind of mid off through to mid wicket, yep. I would say, are probably my strongest areas. Okay, well we'll keep throwing a few more, then we yeah. might do a bit of technical work, but that was the first thing I, yeah. I think we can work on. Okay, cool. I'll, uh, I'll try and implement it. Well, it's hard, like it's interesting, and this is interesting for the viewers, is it's really challenging to be conscious of your body while trying to make decisions. Yes. So yeah. here we're doing a decision-making contest session where you don't know where the ball's gonna be. I could bowl one at your head, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Whereas what I like to try and encourage players to do is have a contest session where you're sort of focused on just your decisions and you're just trusting your body. Okay, yeah. And then we move into a technical session where we do underarms or if you've got access to a bowling machine, you use a bowling machine yeah. and you take away the decision making of where's the ball. Yeah. Right, and you free up that space in your mind to think internally about where your foot's landing. And we can also create some constraints that just make you, like I like using cones and stuff that make you step in a certain spot yep, okay. that you can't. So for now, just keep making decisions. Sure. We'll do another six to 10 balls, then we'll go into technique. Okay. Yeah, sounds good. Runs. Played. Got this old Duke's ball, it just keeps swinging around. I was around. gonna say, it's got no seam it's on it. It's got nothing. no but shine it, on it. I love it, it just, I've been using it so, it just keeps wobbling. Yeah. No wonder Jimmy got as many wickets as he did. <laughs> That swung. For those, for those that are interested, that's what that looks like. I might actually have to edit the seam on it, you know, it's that yeah. one out. All right, that's hard, that's tennis ball. Let's do some technical work. Yeah. So just get wherever you're gonna start. So what I'm doing here is I'm putting this more onto leg. Yeah, okay. To st stop you stepping there. Yeah, gotcha. I want you to try and get that foot across more to middle and off. Yeah. Then if the ball gets leg side, the key is you've got to get your head forward and you hit that ball through the leg side. So yep. I'll show you some stuff on the leg side in a bit, but for now, I want you, I'm going to try and go sort of fourth stump, fifth stump. Gotcha. I want you to try and get that front foot landing in and around off stump. Yeah, okay. Good. 
Okay, you're just early. You're really yeah. early. So, do you ever do underarms? Uh, very rarely. Okay, this is something I think you should, if you're wanting to improve the technical element, yeah. something you should invest in, because you can now consciously focus on your body. Yeah. It's slow, and you'll make some technical improvements over time. Good. Okay, you moved later. I want some energy though. There's no energy there. There we go, better. Nice shot. What stunt was that? That was probably about fourth. Yeah, yeah, but yep, just around off stump. Good, good. We're scoring through the leg side. Nice. Okay, how's that feeling? Uh, a little bit awkward to start with, but I feel more powerful than what I did whilst it was just kind of there. leaving it there, if that okay. makes sense. So when we're trying to get power, we want to try and generate a straight line through the ball. Yeah, so sense. when you're going there and the ball's over here, you're sort of creating angles in different directions and you're losing energy and momentum. Yeah. If we can sort of move towards the ball, and I'm not saying you have to step next to the ball, but if we can move our weight towards the ball, yeah. that creates power. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Big thing I want you to focus on now, because yeah. that's sort of in your, in your way, hopefully yeah, yeah. that'll happen, yeah. is this left side doing more. Okay, yeah, so, so, top, so top hand. Yep, yeah. getting it, but not just top hand, yeah. left side. Okay. So get in your stance for me. <clears throat> this is interesting, I say to a lot of people, look at me now, if I cut you in half down the middle, yeah. this is your left side, this is your right side, and we say left plus right equals 100%. Yeah, okay. I reckon you and a lot of kids and most people, you're doing like 60 or 70% of the work in this right side. Yeah. So I want 70% to be done like right through there into your side there. You're feeling it in your left side. Okay, all right. Yeah, yep. pull cool. the batter through a bit more. Shot. Okay, I'm gonna give you lots of technical things here and we're not gonna be able to solve them all and you're gonna get confused. <laughs> yeah. But it's gonna help the viewers and it's gonna, you're gonna then be able to go away and work on all these things. Okay. Right? So first thing we've spoken about is not going, stepping there. We wanna yeah. step more to off stump. Yeah. Second thing is pulling with our left side, right? Third thing is what your back leg's doing. Okay. Okay, if your back leg is collapsing, what's happening to your body weight? Uh, yeah, it's all kind of falling back. Going exactly. Yeah. Now, power comes from getting our weight into the ball, on top of the ball, and going into the ball. That's what gives you power, right? And that's near impossible if this back leg collapses. Yeah. Okay? So, next sort of technical thing is be aware of the size of your step. Yeah, okay. So, not too big. Not too big, and what this back leg is doing. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah? Yeah, sounds good. Yes, so you're further forward there. Yeah. Back leg straight. Good. Oh, that's a nice shot. You fell off balance, so we want to be able to hold through that front knee more. Yeah. But that's a better shot, straighter lines. Yeah. Good. Squeeze that top wrist. I still think the top wrist can do more there. Yeah. Good. Shot. So at, with all of this, it's really yeah. important that as you do it, you're really curious. Yeah, yeah. Why is that working? Why is it not? What did I do well there? You're just really curious and you're trying to tap into some cues that you can keep coming back to. Yeah, yeah. Shot. Did you ever hit there or not really? Not really. Well, that's because you're just getting your weight, like it's yeah. slow, but you're getting your weight across towards the ball. When you're coming leg side, as we've spoken about, yeah. you got nothing going there. Yeah. Shot. Shot. Oh, Good, so the one thing I haven't spoken about yet, another yeah. thing to add, is when we do hit, we don't want this back leg to turn either. Hands follow hips, and yeah. if my hips are going this way, where are my hands going? Straight across the line of the ball, yeah. Right, and we're trying to create a straight line. Yeah. We want to open this foot so our weight can go that way, Yeah. but we don't want our hips to come around. Yeah, so we're trying sense. to sort of keep the hips. It's awkward because we're trying to like bend there, yeah, yeah, yeah. not turn, and then our hands can go through the line of the ball. Yes, moving late. Get some energy into your shots. Energy, good. Shot, shot, bit of speed, good. Shot, shot, how's that feeling? Yeah, that's nice. Shot. Okay, so does that all make sense? Those points we've spoken about so far? Yeah, yeah, and I think there's, I think there's so many things there that do actually 
kind of relate to me personally, but I think so many things that people will look at or listen to and go, yeah, you know, I've never thought about that bit. Yeah. Um, Cause we've spoken about what, five things there? Yeah, yeah. Um, and they all add up. It's yeah. like a puzzle. And if you, you don't complete the puzzle till every piece is in the right place. Yeah, yeah. Makes but sense. if you're missing one piece, it's nearly done, but it's not complete. Yeah. So yeah. what we're trying to do when we're batting is we're trying to hit the ball with control and we're in control and power. Yeah. And yeah. so if you can say, yes, I hit it in control and power, you've hit a really good shot. But a lot of the time we're lacking power or we're lacking control yeah. or both just because of little movements. Yeah, that's what I love about batting. Yep. There's, as I said, there's so many different parts of it. And I love the fact that you've got one, you've got one moment of failure exactly. and your day's done. It's brutal, isn't it? Yeah, it's brutal. Done. Right, I'm going to get my phone yep. and I'm going to show you some leg side stuff. Yeah, sounds good. So the re what's really important is the bottom hand doesn't come in too early. It's still a yeah, left okay. side dominant shot. Yeah. Now, what a lot of people get wrong is they, they're trying to hit it square. So they're trying to sort of flick that bottom hand, but the best play is they're crossing their feet over, yeah. their head's getting forward, they're staying side on, and they're really hitting, and their hands keep going out before they start to roll. Okay, gotcha. And what I mean by that, I'll show you exactly what I mean, and I, I love using examples. Kevin Peterson there, so yeah. show you the full, full swing. It's like the flamingo shot goes wide mid on mid wicket. When we watch it, contact point. Yeah, yeah. His hands are still going out before they start to roll. Yeah, they actually travels a long way, doesn't they, it? Before it exactly, starts to roll. Before it, it to starts the, to roll. To the point that you think that roll has no impact on where the ball's gone. Exactly, but it's it's all related to the line of the ball in his head. Yeah. Right? And then it goes to where he's wanting it to go. So we see that in full speed and we think it's a whip. Yeah. Right? So slowing things down shows you exactly how it's done. So I'm going to aim middle and leg now. Yep, okay. You're going to hopefully, because of this cone, you're going to step across. Yep. The key, big key is getting your head forward. Yep. And gotcha. not, not over here. As yep. soon as you go over here, you're stuffed. Yes. But we're crossing. If you cross your feet over and head forward, you'll be fine. Then it's left side strong. Now, the last part is if I just push my head forward and my hands out and I don't let this back leg go. Fall over. Yeah, I, well, I, it's hard. So the, you watch all the best players. They're hitting and their weight is coming down the wicket. Okay. It's about hitting the ball where the field isn't. Yeah. So if there's three over here, you've got to try and hit it this way. If there's three over here, you've got to try and hit it this way. Yeah. So the examples I use at Test Cricket, there's usually three slips, gully, yeah. gaps here. But at the end of the day, you've got to figure out in your standard where, how you do it. Yeah. I'm just showing technical fundamentals. And then you've got to apply that to you and your game. Yeah. That, and everyone watching, listening, like that's what the game's about, is how do I use what I've got in this moment? Yeah, makes sense. All right. So head forward. Yeah. Okay, what do you think there? Uh, push with the hands too much at the end. Turned a bit I'm early. As far forward, yeah. Yep. yeah. Yep. Okay, let your weight, let your weight come. You're, yeah. you're fighting it. And left side stronger for longer, then yeah. roll. Not bad. Yeah, yeah that, that's nice. That was good. That was yeah. a fuller face and more weight forward. You're still yeah. reluctant. You put your bat down. You're still reluctant to let yourself to fall. Way. Yeah. Do yeah. so you reckon that, that might be kind of a better scare to just missing a straight one, I guess, maybe? I don't well, know. That, well, you won't miss a straight one if you have a full face. Yeah, that's a fair point. If you're coming across it, yeah, you might miss it. <laughs> okay, that was a bit across. Yeah. Not bad. Release that back leg. You're trying to get your head and weight so far forward that it has to come through. Not bad. Bottom hand took over. Still that bottom hand, isn't yep. it? That's... Yep, because it's really, it's what it's used to doing. Yeah. So we just want to really think longer with your left side. Yeah, good, good, getting there. That bottom hand. So think that the bat swing is going to mid on and then that naturally it'll roll. You don't want to yeah. have to take it square. Uh, it's all right. Come on, Daniel. It's all right. Nice, close, close. Yeah. Through. Not bad. Better. Good, your weight came down. Good. Yeah. Nice, we're getting closer. Getting closer. Being curious as you go. Last few. Shot. Sharp, boy. It just feels like it's starting to get a bit braver with kind of stepping off this back foot. Good. Yeah, that Good. was nice. 
Shot. Nice. That was a good one. Yeah, they, it's funny, isn't it? it? You know when you've done it right. The second that you know you've kind of gone handsy or whatever you want to call it, yep. you suddenly go, oh, no, cross it. Yeah. Loved it again. So, yeah, look, I think we'll wrap it up there. Yeah, yeah. But ho hopefully for you, you can go back and watch this and think about there's a lot there. And for your viewers, they can sort of listen and try these sort of things themselves. Yeah. Um, but with technique, it just, it's, it's muscle memory. It's not going to happen overnight. Yeah. That's where if you can do a little bit every day, it will change quicker. Yeah. So if you, like, you might not go to the nets every day, but if you think, before I go to bed, I'm just going to grab my bat, and for five minutes, I'm just going to get in front of the mirror. Yeah. And just sure. practice this like swing, practice getting my foot across and turning, and that'll make a big difference um, over a, a week or two or three or four. Okay. Um, yeah, just constant yeah. practice will make a change over time. Love it. Yeah. I think that, that first thing that you said was, was so important, I think. And as you say, there, there's more than one way to kind of skin a cat, so to speak. Yep. Um, so to have that kind of clear mindset to start with is gonna make such a huge difference. Yeah, so. and then big thing as well, which I think a lot of kids need to hear is, is enjoying it. Enjoying it, like we all, you watch little kids, we've got a little kids camp going on next door and you watch little kids and they have so much fun with the game. Yeah. And at some point when we're 10, 11, 15, 18, whatever, it goes from I play cricket to I serious cricket, I need results. Yeah, yeah. And so we've got to get back to that. I play cricket because it's fun. I love the challenge. I love the camaraderie with my mates. All these things that make the game so special. Mm. And when we're in that place, the results come. Yeah. But when we're so desperate for results, we get so tense, we get so tight. We're so, it, it's so hard to get to where we want to get to. So if you can let go of results and say, it's coming, it's coming. I know it's coming and I'm on a journey. Not, I'm not, not trying to get to a destination yeah, yeah, yeah. and focus on the enjoyment. I think that where you want to get to will come. It's a great point. Mate, nice thank one. you so much. We'll go, we'll go that way around. Yes. Cheers, bud. Thank you.